you know, sometimes you look at your opponent like, oh, why did you do that? That's such a weird play or something. But some people go all in and like, oh, they messed up. Oh, you know, this, they're terrible or this person is bad. I feel... <laughs> uh, cover your eyes, children. Uh, our opponent is uh, displeased. I oh, guess the five-minute gauntlet queue, the pinnacle of duelist. I mean, it's just it's just optimizing uh, my time to exp it, it forces me to improvise content, right? It's it's testing my skill as a streamer. Look on the positive side. <laughs> hey, Plota thirty five, thanks for joining. Um, right, why do we start with this? Do we play a seven? No, it doesn't work. Do we play a five six on turn one? That's a legit question. I, I that could be quite good. It depends on what they do. Like, if they make some defensive play, or they play a Veil Hunter, it might be good. Um, these cards, this, ah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. Like, if I had Ruby Rifter in hand, and knew that I'd be able to draw cards afterwards, maybe that would be okay. Because if they just martyred on it, we are dead. Um, yeah, I don't think I can reasonably do that. Which probably means I'm doing this. Um, but I guess keeping Frostfire 4 Arrow Whistler is good. But I think I'd rather have this for if they play a ranged unit. It's our way of dealing with it. Oh, hey, nice. We get to <laughs> we get the option we had last time. Your opponent hates you before they've even talked to you. It's true. Uh, oh, hello. Prophet of the White Palm. Maybe that's it. This is a, this opponent is a role player. Their plan is to draft only cards that like have a hit effect on your opponent. So they're just going to play a bunch of tech cards against us. They just played a 1-1 at the back, so they're probably going to lose, but like... Uh, which means this play sounds bad, because we don't actually want to... We want to punish them for playing a 1-1. Um, actually, I should have replaced this Fate Sealer, because <laughs> it sucks. Uh, I think defensive Fenrir is probably right here. We could... We could move towards the center, but I can still attack the center from this side. It just means I don't have the ability to trade over there. But I have a ranged unit, so if they go up here and play something, I'm playing Arrow Whistler, you know, in the back end of nowhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope. And uh, I'm going to be a happy bunny. I don't know what they were expecting. Like, <laughs> put us like Karate Cold. Damn. <laughs> A defensive turn two player is so underrated. Oh, you mean player two play? I don't know. I feel like I do this too often. I sometimes... Oh, hello. That's interesting. It is a battle pet, so I don't know how much I care about it. I think the username is an Arnold quote. I think it's something that I've said many times in real life, but... Um, so we can make this shoot the Fenrir if we want. We can make it shoot this if we want. Healing Mystic is okay. I'm kind of okay taking four from it. Although, if I take two tiles, I can actually deploy a fair amount of stuff. Like, I can put a Healing Mystic down to attack or trade. Well, I guess then if I take the center, they'll just trade this into something, and I don't know if I want that. I think Palm will survive Chromatic Gold on the following turn. That's what I meant, yeah, sorry. That was the... That was the joke. Air quotes. Uh, let's see. Right. Let's, let's start with this. We know this is happening. So... We can do... Here, maybe? And here? Or there. There is better. Threaten two mana tiles. I'm not sure which one the Ion will shoot. I think me. Yeah. So I'm kind of okay with the, with taking four. It's not the worst. Um, hopefully I draw Dancing Blades though and I can get rid of it. Because we obviously can't let this do its thing forever. Um, but I can force it to trade with the Warmaster next turn, actually, so that's not a huge problem. Like if I if my opponent buffs this, I'll just walk the Warmaster. 
Well, in fact, whether or not they buff it, I'll probably just walk the Warmaster into range and it'll go and hit. Unless they're going to be able to body block. But I think I'll... I should be able to put this somewhere that the Ion will go in. Oh, boy. Oh, I wonder if they first picked this and then drafted around it. Like, maybe they're just playing loads of small minions to maximize Aurora. Marching up. I should probably stop clicking away from cards before looking at what they do. Give minions directly in front of and behind your general plus two plus two. Okay. That's fine. Um, I think we'll just go for the aspect of the bear. I think. Maybe I just let it... No, I don't want that. Trial and gauntlet. Kind of, yeah. That's sort of what it looks like, isn't it? Oh, where do I even go with this hand? That's good. I can cast that. Okay, here's what we do. We place Saber Spine Alpha here, eat the Aurora, and then the Ion will walk up and trade with it. And we shoot this Prophet. I say the Ion will walk up and trade with it. The Ion should walk up and trade. Man, Battle Pets never make any sense. What is this nonsense? Okay, this is fine. Now I, now I get to keep a 5-4. Um, this is a bit awkward because if I punch it, I take 8. And my opponent can easily kill this wolf. Um, so I may have to sack the Saber Spine Alpha so I don't lose the Arrow Whistler to trading with it. Um, we'll see. I mean, I guess I have healing. I could just tank it. Okay, that changes things. So I can't use the Arrow Whistler anymore anyway. Or myself. Which puts the Saber Spine Alpha in a position of responsibility if my opponent decides to go and punch this, which I assume they will. Um, although, actually, I can Aspect of the Bear and then keep my 5-4. My that seems like a good idea. And then I can punch this with my face and the Arrow Whistler and play a Healing Mist uh, as a Herald. So assuming they don't have anything else that's scary, this looks like a really good turn. I think they have a 33% chance to walk two forward, upright, or downright each. So there's a 1-6 chance he would go face. Really? Interesting. I would have thought that it would consider... Oh, actually, I don't know. Wow, okay. Got lucky there, then. Um... Right, so I think... Do I buff the Azure Herald or do I play another unit as well? I think buffing the Herald's better. Um, saving units for Grail Master is a good idea. Um, do this because I would absolutely play a 2 mana 5 4 in this situation. And we get rid of the Songweaver. Lovely. We're ahead on cards, we're ahead on tempo. This is good. Talking about chance, can Bloodsworn Gambler's ability be used infinitely? Yes. Um, as attested to by quite a number of Reddit salt posts. Battle pets go the closest distance that brings them in contact with an enemy if possible. Oh, I thought they picked an enemy and then moved to it. Um. That's an interesting trade of damage there. A weird line. What are they doing? You can't do that. So I think next time we just slam this Grail Master. Um, and then if my opponent doesn't deal with it, play some random stuff, and then it will kill them. Because at some point it'll get celerity and <coughs> everything is horrible. 
Ah, well that explains the attack. No plays. Holy moly. Happy days for us. Um, let's replace the bad card. Hello. How much damage do we have right here? Uh, 11. Like, is this better than Grailmaster? Probably not. No, actually, Grailmaster Frostfire is a real combo. Seems legit. Pew! Um... I'm going to surround my opponent so that they don't have an opportunity to cast Holy Immolation very easily. Um, but I am going to hit them in the face. Should this name be reported? Um, I was just thinking about that. I guess, probably. Um, I think that makes sense. I don't buy it. If Gambler shoots 100, 100 times, there are going to be times where it gets 4% or 2% rolls off. Yeah, well, it, the chance doesn't, like, diminish as it goes along, so it can always deal... Each time it tries to deal damage, it checks whether it can deal damage, it can still... It has the same chance. So there's no reason why it would stop being able to deal damage. Uh, right, we have lethal, right? Seven, eight, nine, yeah. Um, but maybe let's BM a little bit and just see if we can get Grailmaster to do it all herself. I thought there was a report option. Maybe it's only about contacting customer service. This person's deck is really something. Yeah. This isn't the first time I've played against Rower recently. People seem to love that card. What do we get? Provoke. Boring. Celerity. There we go. GG. Oh, 